Welcome to February. Yay, it's me, Allison Rizel. I am the spiritual empowerment coach for women who are 40 and over. I am the founder, CEO, and headmistress of the Sacred Pathway Academy, my school, the Sacred Pathway Academy. Thank you very much. So how you doing? Yes, we are going to do our reading for February. I know I didn't do one for January, but I was taking January um, off to give myself a little self-care to kind of pull back and not take on so much. You know what I'm saying? Because we have to do that sometimes. So February is Black History Month. If you don't know, now you know, um, at least here in the States, it's Black History Month. So. Of course, in celebration of Black History Month, if we're going to do a reading, we may as well call on the African goddess rising, right? Yeah. So these readings, we're going to do them a little differently than what I've done previously um, in the past. So here's how this is going to work. Going to be pulling per the elements, which is earth. And I'm not talking about the the um, the band <laughs> from back in the day that still is relevant to this day. But you got earth, you have water, you have fire, you have air. Then we're also going to do a card for the ether, for the universe, kind of the overarching of a uh, spirit. Uh, that's covering all of us, right? So it's going to be two cards per element. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's get it on. Let's get it on. So if we're going to start with the earth. Ah, okay. I got to pay attention to what I'm doing. If we're going to start with the earth, the question that we want to know is for this month, what do we need to be grounded in? What do we need to be grounded in for the month of February? For the month of February, what do we need to be grounded in for the month of February? Okay, so we need to be grounded in miracles and we also need to be grounded in nakedness so before you start like tripping and stuff like hello miracles and naked how that work well first and foremost we have to start believing in the miracle that is us that is life and part of the many miracles of our lives is our ability to be transparent, to be vulnerable. So this is our opportunity to be grounded in our own sacred vulnerability and not be ashamed of using our voice and speaking our truth, being vulnerable, but being vulnerable in the right places at the right time. Now, the miracles part comes from when you start allowing yourself to be naked, when you allow yourself to be vulnerable, to stand 10 toes down, chest up, this is who I am. And I just don't care who has anything to say about it. And allowing ourselves to be vulnerable, there's healing that will come from that. The miracle of healing, the miracle of abundance, the miracle of continued growth in life. So what we need to be grounded in is understanding that we can allow miracles to happen in our lives, but we got to let our guards down and we got to be more grounded in that. So, so let's go to the water. Where do we need, <laughs> where do we need more flow? Where do we need more flow? If we're being grounded, in miracles, in vulnerability, nakedness, authenticity, then what areas of our lives do we need more flow? Are 
it's February calling for us to have more flow. Let's see. Okay, so we got shine. Surrender. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. that is juicy. So we got shine. And we got surrender. So in the flow, we need to allow more flow. We need to surrender to the flow of life. We need to stop trying to, you know, uh, make stuff happen. You know, we keep putting our hands in it. We keep interfering. Um, I had a client yesterday and I told them the reason why things are happening is because you won't let spirit have the wheel of, of your life. You keep trying to bother it. And what we've got to do is we've got to surrender our need to control. And we need to surrender to our own beautiful shine, our own, uh, again, going back to our authenticity of being who we are. When we are genuinely who we are, who we were created to be, that's when we shine. So we need to surrender to that greatness of who we are. We need to surrender the control element of hiding. I want to control the narrative of what people say about me, of what people think about me. I want to control that. Baby, my grandmama used to tell me, honey, they, used, they talked about Jesus. So why do you think they're not going to talk about you? So think about that. When you're trying to control a narrative, when you're trying to say, you know, I don't want people thinking such and such about me or whatever, who the hell cares? At the end of the day, what, who do we, why, why do we care? The only thing that matters is what do you think about you? So surrender that need to put those masks on, to put those different faces on that are not yours. Surrender to being your most authentic self so that you can shine bright like the diamond you are. So you can step into that power. So that goes back to the grounding, doesn't it? Realizing that the miracle comes in your vulnerability, your authenticity. And you shine when you just surrender to the fact that you are you and you are fabulous. On that. <laughs> All right. So now let's go into the fire. What is the passion? What are we passionate about? What do we need to be more passionate about? Because we got to get ourselves back on track and get focused. Because we're losing that because so much stuff is happening. And I get it. We're human. It's, that's, it just is what it is. But we got to get ourselves back on track. So let's let's get our passion. So what's going to help us um, get back on track with our passion? Let's say that. The fire. Mm. We got to speak up. And manifestation. Ooh, boy. So we got to speak up, goddess, goddess and God. <laughs> we got to speak up in the manifestation. Are you seeing a pattern here? I am. It seems like February is trying to tell us that it's some good stuff that's about to happen for us. But we are really going to have to just come on out of the uh, closet. And I'm not talking about being um, part of the LGBTQIA plus community. Unless you are part of that and you ain't came out yet, you know, that's that's a personal decision. Let's skip that and move on. <laughs> what I'm talking about is we got to come out of hiding. We got to start speaking up in order for that passion to return within us. We got to start speaking up. We got to start using our voice. We have to start being our most authentic selves. Again, this I'm seeing a pattern. 
This month is about our authenticity. This month is about us reclaiming that. Ooh, I just felt that in my spirit. We are reclaiming who we are. And then the manifestation will happen, right? The manifestation of what it is that we have been looking for, the manifestation of the miracles, the manifestation of us continuing to shine and just be our most authentic selves, that abundance that many of us are looking for. This is how, this is how it's going to come together. All right, so let's go on to air. One of the things that I recognize, especially as an energy healer, that a lot of us don't take time to breathe. So when I think about breathing and air, I think about self-care. I think about how can we be better to ourselves, right? How can we allow more air flow? How can we allow ourselves to just step back and just breathe? So the question is, what do we need to do to take better care of ourselves in February? That self-care element. That self-care element. Hmm, feeling safe. <laughs> I was hoping she would show up. I was hoping she would show up. So first and foremost, we got Goddess Tituba that talks about being safe. But then, Goddess Ocean, fearless love. We cannot be afraid to love on ourselves and take that time unapologetically to love on ourselves. To give yourself the ability to just do something that's just for you. So one of the things that I like to do when I get up in the morning, I like to have between of like six or seven, depending on what time I get up, because I'm an early riser. Don't judge me. It's just always been that. But like between six and eight, somewhere in there, I like that to be just my me time. Before I turn on and start working on business stuff, you know, do anything that is not related to just me, <laughs> I like to have that time. So as of late, what I've been doing, because I got to get my, I'm getting myself back on track, is I've been exercising. I've been taking time in the morning to just sit and just breathe and just be. So between the exercise and just allowing myself to just sit in that energy and flow, that is my moment of self-care. Now, you may not have that much time, but find time. Because it is safe for you to show yourself sacred love. It is safe for you to love on yourself in a beautiful way. So this is what the air element of self-care is telling us. Because the air element is connected to the heart. And with the heart center, the heart chakra, right? This is where we love on ourselves. This is where we show ourselves compassion unconditional love. And in that way, we're able to give it to others. It is hard for us to give unconditional love to others when we can't give it to ourselves. And if we don't know how to give it to ourselves, it's going to be really difficult, really difficult for us to truly show it to other people because there's always going to be that element of not enough on their end and on yours. So you have to be careful with that, okay? So the last thing is the ethers, the universe, spirit, watching over us. How can we connect with spirit more for this month? I like this um, spread. Let me know in the comments if you like this spread because I like it. I, I really like it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. We just might do it for March. <laughs> so what, what, how can we connect with spirit more for this month? Mm -mm -mm. 
Ooh, okay. So we have the radical rebirth is our connection to spirit. And it's going to bring us some good juju. <laughs> the radical rebirth, and it's going to bring us some good juju. So the radical rebirth means that there are some things that we're going to have to shed. And it's going to start with what we're going to be rooted in, grounded in, which is believing in the miracles that are within us. And we're going to be vulnerable and naked. And we're going to stand authentically and be ourselves. And then as we require more flow within our lives, right? We're going to surrender. We're going to surrender to the need to control the outcome. We're going to surrender to the need to control the narrative and just be like, they can think what they want to think about me. I'm going to be who I be because that's when I shine brightest. And so that's going to make me speak up and get that fire in my belly once again, because I'm going to speak my truth. And I'm going to live my most authentic life, which is going to manifest the miracles, the magic, the good juju, if you will. And then I feel safe knowing that even in all of this process of shedding these old mindsets, thoughts and beliefs about myself, I fearlessly love on myself and it is safe for me to do that. And if I do all of this, there's going to be a radical rebirth and no good thing will be withheld from me. Did you not know that when we shine on behalf of the divine, that means that we're being who we were created to be. When we're being who we were created to be, that's when we shine the most. And we get to show the divine through us that lives in us, that is us and it inspires others to do the same so this is our reading for the month of february let me know in the comments does it resonate what did you think about this did you like this spread i really want to know so thank you so much for joining me i'm looking forward to the rest of this month i love you and i'll see you next time bye for now